Most of you know me as a Game Boy modder, but now I'm testing out selling modded game cubes. And since I don't want to mess around with Nintendo's legal team, I'm going to show you how to legally back up your games via your modded GameCube. Because I'm not risking jail time so you can have pre-installed pirated games. Whether or not you think it's morally okay to pirate games is up to you. And yeah, you need a modded GameCube for this or a modded Wii, but we're not gonna go over that today. I'll have a Wii tutorial link down below if you'd rather. But if you want to, you can buy a modded GameCube from me on my website, RetroRemaster.com. Or if you'd rather mod your own, I'll have my super awesome, amazing tutorial linked in the description right below my website. And going back to the whole legal thing, copyright laws vary from country to country, so do your own research to see if it's even legal for you to do it. So this is for educational purposes only. Online interactions aren't rated by the ESRB. Ask your parents' permission before going online. Everything else I need to say to cover my butt legally. Oh, uh, don't try this at home. Wait, no, this is a tutorial. Do it at work or something, I don't know. For those who are my customers, I include a very basic 32 gigabyte SD card that has the Swiss software, an empty games folder, and an apps folder that contains the Clean Rip app. That's the app we're gonna use to back up our discs. And with all that on there, you don't need a computer to back up your games. That's a bonus for being my customer. If you wanna use a different micro SD card, you can use pretty much any size, but it will need to be formatted to FAT32. And when you have it in the correct format, you can copy and paste everything over from the SD card I provided. If you're not one of my customers or you accidentally deleted everything, here's past me from my modding tutorial to teach you how to install everything you need. You'll need to download the Swiss software. And again, I'll have all the written stuff down below because the software stuff does tend to change from time to time. You'll have to download this file here. You'll have to unzip it and find this file here, rename it to IPL.DOL, and then you can drop that onto the root of the SD card. And now that you're back here, We've got a games folder. If you've backed up any games before, you can just dump them in here from your computer. In this folder, we have the Clean Rip GC. If you're just not my customer, you can go to the Clean Rip GitHub. I'll have it linked down below. And you're gonna click on here and download the Clean Rip software. Then once you extract it, it's gonna look like this. Then you can just copy and paste this into your apps folder on that SD card, looking like this. Then once we have all this set up, then we can remove our SD card and put it back into our GameCube. If your console does have the SP2 port, you can use the SD to SP2 adapter. If not, you're gonna need the GC to SD adapter. Either way, put your SD card into either of those adapters. You can turn on your console and it should boot into Swiss just like this. Your screen will look a little bit different because it'll have a lot less going on. Right now, we're gonna back up Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. Put whatever game you want into your disk drive and then we can go into our apps folder and select Clean Rip GC. It's gonna give you a disclaimer. You might as well enable checksum calculations. I honestly don't know what it means means, but it only adds three minutes. And when it's going to be a really long process, it doesn't really matter. If you're using the memory card adapter, choose the slot you're in. If you're using the SP2 adapter, click this. I have my memory card adapter in slot B. So we're going to click that. It is formatted to FAT32. If it's not, you need to do that now. As long as the GameCube disc is inserted, you can go ahead and press A. Don't worry, it's not deleting the disc. It scared me the first time because I'm like, uh, initializing, that's not good. It's gonna ask if this is an unlicensed disc, which I'm pretty sure just means a pirated copy. It is not. It asks if you wanna remember the settings. It never remembers it for me, so I just hit no anyways. And this is gonna take about 30 minutes to back up. It is a long, process. If you're like, I have hundreds and hundreds of games to back up, I don't want to wait that long. It is faster to do it on the Wii. I believe it's just a faster disk drive. And honestly, I have a backup of this somewhere on my PC. I just don't have it on this SD card. And I really don't want to wait 30 minutes. This file here was supposed to be Metroid Prime 2, but we canceled it. And down here, Crazy Taxi, this is what I did earlier. The game will back up with its game ID. I don't know what that is exactly. It's not going to come out saying Crazy Taxi. That is what it's going to look like. If you want to, you can take out your SD card and put it back into your computer, and then you can rename the file to whatever you want. And I like to put it in a games folder so it's a little more organized, but do whatever you want. This is a Japanese GameCube that I'm on, and right now, Metroid Prime 2 is the USA game. And if I were to exit Swiss, the GameCube is going to say, hey man, I don't know what this game is, because the GameCube is region locked. And even though this is a video on how to back up your games, you hit B to go up into this menu down here, hit the eject button, and you can see your SD card, your DVD drive, and this system chip. 
but we're gonna click on the DVD drive. And at that point, we can actually load Metroid Prime 2 from the disc without having to download anything if you don't wanna wait for all these backups to happen. And we're loaded into the game. And in case you think this basic SD card isn't good enough to run GameCube games, here's me playing Super Mario Strikers with zero issues. If you watched my stream from last week, I had some frame rate issues, but that wasn't the GameCube. That's my crappy camera capture card and it's capped at 30 frames per second. But from here, you can play all of your legally obtained games on your GameCube off the SD card, or even play it on those evil emulators by copying it from the SD card. <laughs> There's definitely no way to play pirated games on here. No, 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 no. That's illegal, and we all know you can't do anything illegal. And once again, if you need a modded GameCube, you can follow my tutorials, or you can buy one for me pre-modded on my website, retroremastered.com, or maybe just buy some appropriately themed merch. So like, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Later, guys. I have a question. Yeah. Do I have your permission to go online? No. <laughs> Dang it.